thank Dato Siri for for giving us a chance to learn the processes of television and radio news broadcasting here in Bernama, a government a news agency here in Malaysia. And since we are in the in the process of improving our state media in the Philippines, um, any education, any suggestion, and any chance, opportunity to learn from our neighboring countries is welcome. Now, most especially that we are also in the verge of opening, of launching our own Muslim television oh. in, in the Philippines, which is run by the government. We call it Salam Television and Salam Radio. Now, we definitely can learn from a country like Malaysia. Uh, one of the reasons also that I came here is uh, as part of the delegation of the Philippine government for the um, implementation of the Bangsamoro uh, Peace Agreement uh, led by our esteemed Secretary Jess Doresa and also on the other side of uh, the panel um, the chairman of the MILF. So um, today uh, we did a courtesy call to the Prime Minister of Malaysia, Rasak, and he was very cordial in wo and welcomed us warmly. And the, the Prime Minister and the head of our Philippine delegation, uh, Duresa, uh, spoke of uh, continuous uh, cooperation and establishing a very strong bilateral uh, relationship in terms of helping the government achieve peace in the southern region of the Philippines, which is Mindanao, and to continue and asking the Prime Minister for uh, the assurance not to leave us in this path towards uh, peace in uh, Mindanao until it is achieved and Prime Minister Najib Razak did commit that he will work uh, until uh, Mindanao achieves the economic progress or economic promise that, um, that it always has been uh, for the last few decades. At the same time, the Prime Minister also committed to continually help. The, the, the Philippine government achieved this peace. And one of the reasons why it was held here in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, was because uh, also in recognition for the unwavering support of Malaysia to the peaceful uh, negotiation between the MILF and the Philippine government. Over the years, yeah? Over the years, over the years. And so now it is a welcome development that finally the government of the Philippines and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front has now launched the, the implementing panels. And this implementing panels, um, we can say, is more inclusive in, um, in achieving this uh, goal of peace. And, and one, one of the development is uh, adding more members to the Bangsamoro Transition Committee, uh, 10 coming from the government and 11 coming from the MILF. So this should be a very positive step because we are now including the other f groups and factions that have uh, felt that they were left behind in the last uh, agreement. So what do you think about the uh, discussion between two countries, between Malaysia, to set out about Bansamoro, especially in Mutanao itself? It is very important, the bilateral relations in terms of peace and uh, economy. I think that now more than ever, our country, the Philippine government, and, and the Malaysian government should continue with this uh, cooperation, considering considering that we are very close neighbors and we have some security uh, problems uh, in the Sulu and the Sulawesi Sea. Yeah. And uh, it is very uh, important that it is uh, imperative for the Philippine government to uh, 
to cooperate, vice versa, uh, in stopping the kidnap for ransom group Abu Sayyaf. The Philippine government will need the cooperation of Malaysia with, with its uh, very powerful um, Malaysian Royal Navy and it will also help uh, need the help uh, cooperation of Indonesia because these are the countries that are most affected yeah. by uh, this security project kidnappings and the extremists in uh, that part of Sulu. The Duterte administration understands and knows very well what Malaysia has done to secure its borders. And as a matter of fact, just last uh, Friday, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte visited uh, Sulu, reiterated his support and reiterated his call to put a final stop to the kidnappings that are happening in this island. Earlier during the, um, the meeting, the courtesy call to the Prime Minister, uh, uh, Secretary Gesturesa brought this up and uh, he uh, expressed that uh, the Philippines is willing to activate this moribund uh, BIMP Iaga. As a matter of fact, uh, Prime Minister Razak um, welcomed this and he was very excited and he said that uh, he wished for President Lori Duterte to visit Malaysia and make it one of his first, first stops, yeah, stops. Uh, here in the ASEAN. Yeah. What is very important here is that we have uh, President Duterte as very excited and very willing and open and resolute in making sure that peace finally happens in, in Mindanao. Those issues that uh, have been stopping this uh, agreement from happening uh, will, will be parked for now uh, for us to be able to move forward. The Philippine government uh, truly welcomes the openness of the MILF, uh, especially in, in allowing both panels to be inclusive in terms of being able to invite the other factions mm -hmm. in Mindanao to join this Bangsamoro uh, peace agreement implementation. More than before. No, more, than, more than before. At the end of this month, what will happen is the key figures in Philippine Congress will be in Davao, Mindanao mm -hmm. to discuss further how this can be addressed quickly and acted quickly by the Philippine Congress. So the Bangsamoro Basic Law uh, now becomes a, a reality, not only in words, in deeds, but in law. As we all know, has its unorthodox yes. solutions yes. to our incorrigible problems like drugs. And as the international community may be, or should be aware already that there are more than half a million surrenderees or drug users and pushers who have presented themselves to the government. Our president, he has his own unorthodox ways. It's a left field solution, but it is within the constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you. Mm. Thank you.